Hey, you're Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris, and this is a, uh, a test engine mule. So this is solely for uh, testing for uh, Schaller hydroplanes, Grand Prix hydroplanes. What we're doing is uh, we've taken, taken their mechanical uh, fuel injection system and have converted this all to fuel tech. And so what I'm doing is I'm working on tune-up and working on other issues before we start on the new engine program for uh, Justin and Marianne. And uh, so uh, we're working working this all out and uh, we're gonna make something that is much better, much more de dependable and durable. Uh, that is the primary key in this whole process is uh, durable and dependable. And uh, Finishing races wins races. Uh, you can be the fastest guy out there and never finish a race and nobody cares. So uh, this is what we're really focusing on. And uh, so we've been doing a lot of modification and have made things to uh, fit and work and custom. This is on uh, one ethanol. That's the brand name, one ethanol. Uh, E85 race. So uh, working on uh, my percentages of uh, above the ha above the blower, below the blower, uh, other individual cylinder trims, and starting to square things away. Before we do the new motor, then like I said, this is just our test mule. So this is an engine that they had that they actually raced with uh, on mechanical, and uh, so far we are uh, significantly better throughout the whole curve. And uh, what we'll do is we'll. Put the uh, camera down on tripod. We'll go out here, make a hit on this thing. Oh, I'm sorry. By the way, this is this is actually a spec motor. So they they dictate that this is basically a 60 over 454, point blank, with a Dart 345 head. Those are the spec componentry, uh, spec blower, um, spec head, spec cubic inch. Um, thinking uh, they're going to have a spec piston, some other stuff. So. Uh, this does not have our, our camshaft design. This, this is their original motor um, that uh, we just have gone through, just freshened up, but we haven't changed any in integral parts, anything that makes any horsepower, does anything. Uh, and we actually did do this, uh, if you go follow them on Instagram, and I think they have Facebook, uh, they have one of the old videos of it up, of exactly the way it came out of the boat. So, anyways, you can see here that it's... Uh, uh, we put on the new blower. Uh, they had a, a just an older series of uh, Littlefield 871 also. So 871, 400, or 469 cubic inches, I think it is. Um, running on E85 from uh, one ethanol. Anyways, I'm gonna put the camera down. We'll go out there and uh, make a hit, and uh, can take a look at the numbers. So let's take a look at numbers. Now, this is, uh, like I said, this is uh, just the EFI conversion on an engine that they've already had, that they already went through. So this doesn't have, really have any of our stuff, actually. It's just all their stuff. Uh, it's outside of the fuel tech and the, uh, um, uh, you know, the EFI conversion that we've done on everything, trying to figure out what to do placement and whatnot on uh, nozzles. And uh, so anyways, as you can see here, so I mean this is a nice, easy, safe tune-up on E98, excuse me, on E85. And uh, what you can see here, uh, I mean it's nice, broad, flat, all the way through here. And this is what you're normally going to find out on, on these engines. It is, it is astronomically hard and useless to make these things run at 9,000 RPM. But, you know, people can do it. More, more power to them if they can make it all work. That's all cool. But... 
Uh, anyways, as you see, nice good baseline piece now for what our uh, E85 EFI tune-up is going to be. Now, I'll show you something here. It'll take me just a second. Uh, I mean, you know, we, we did change blower, but it's got the same overdrive ratio, same everything else. But the uh, blower really wasn't any kind of problem on the, the previous motor. This just happens to be a, uh, a new one that they had. Um, let me go back and show you the difference. Let's see. Between the original, which was the mechanical EFI, uh, I'm sorry, mechanical fuel injection system on it. The standard old deal. And uh, like I said, no no difference in anything other than EFI. A little bit of tuning. I could make this thing a little bit better. It would probably be in that 1250-ish range, 1260 range, something like that. Um, but that's not really what we're hunting for. We're looking for something really good, smooth, broad, <clears throat> and knowing exactly where uh, we're able to make best horsepower. Uh, let's see here. Uh, nope, don't want that. Let's see. So if we go to graph. Yep. Uh, history log. Let's see if we can find it. It's not this one. They have quite a few pulls on it trying to uh, sort some little issues out with it. But uh, let's see here. As a matter of fact, there's so many there, I'm going to have to go backwards just a little bit to find that. So give me one second. I have to go all the way back to the original one we did. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope, and that is not it either. Darn it. Sorry about that, I just had to find the right one. We did that one test hit of exactly the way it was in the boat. There we go. Okay, now we'll do a graph comparison here. Now this was the way it was on e uh, on straight methanol. Now granted, there were some tune-up issues that we could have sorted out there also. But you see how hard this thing laid over and it just couldn't have been real nice in the boat. And here, yeah, so that's where you kind of see it. Now we have, it definitely made a little bit more down here low, uh, which is fine. I can, we can start getting a little bit of that back with a little more tune-up. Probably not going to get everything back on E85 that we had on methanol. We're basically, you know, 40 horsepower off. That's 40 horsepower right there. So we could get a little bit of that back, probably about half of it pretty easily, but I mean, up here is obviously what the difference is. Yes, this probably could have been tuned, but you probably would see this thing maintained, kind of actually be in maybe 11-ish, 11 1150-ish 11 horsepower area if it was really well tuned. Um, you know, but we wanted to just get the baseline. This is exactly what they raced with. Uh, this is where we're at now with uh, with this whole EFI conversion. So now, next process in this whole deal is now we're going to start working on building the actual new motor. Now that we are using this as the mule that we're just sitting here testing with, uh, being their old base platform, and uh, it's all looking pretty darn good, you know. And we have the whole uh, fuel tech system, which is a excellent system. Uh, you know, there's only two systems that I tune, and uh, this is one of them. So you can see, uh, you know, from the dad logging, everything that goes on. It's it's a nice system and uh, really easy to use too. But anyways, I am uh, Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. Have a great day.